Well, the last, um, we've been a band for almost 20 years now, you know, and so uh, just to keep things interesting and to make things uh, exciting, we're constantly trying to find new ways to um, to change up the process just to make it exciting for the band, you know, more than anything. So we have our own recording studio in Los Angeles. We made a few records there. But the last record that we made, we decided to get outside of that comfort zone, outside of the studio, and make the album in my garage. Yeah. And uh, so we like pulled the minivan out of the garage, <laughs> and the garage <laughs> in the garage, and then just decided to uh, kind of build a little makeshift studio upstairs and use two-inch tape instead of using computers, just like yeah. to try to get us out of that comfort zone that most people are in now. And because I imagined that the environment would influence the outcome of the music. That was sort of the beginning of that concept of that, um, uh, that experiment. Like, okay, if we put us in the garage and we record with tape and we don't mess with the computers, then I bet you it's going to sound like we fucking did it in a garage. You know? <laughs> so that became the idea on that. And it did. It turned out great. We had a blast making it. And I think one of the things that was so exciting about making that record that way was that we weren't just like you know, pulling into our parking space at the Los Angeles recording studio and ordering sushi and getting a foot massage. You know, it was like, <laughs> we were making a record. And so um, then after that, uh, I made the Sound City documentary, which totally fell into my lap. I didn't imagine it was going to be a full length feature film documentary thing because I, I don't know what I'm doing and so uh, but it, 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 it's kind of snowballed into that uh, it started with the short film idea and then it just turned into you know once Neil Young said yeah you can interview me I'm like oh we gotta sell tickets to this. <laughs> so, uh, so so but that was what what I found that was really successful in that everywhere I went people would come up to me and congratulate me because they were inspired by the film. So like old ladies and lawyers and normal people and not normal people <laughs> would come up and say, I was really inspired by that movie um, because we focused on the relationships of the people, you know, yeah. like we didn't, it wasn't so technical and it wasn't so logistical, it was more emotional, like right? the people that ran the studio and the, uh, the relationship between the people in the bands and, um, and that's what people find uh, inspiring, I think. You know, when you, when you hear a story, a, a human story uh, that you connect with, makes you feel more human, and, uh, and I think you, you're inspired by that. So then it came time to make a Foo Fighters record. So what the fuck, we're just gonna go in the studio and make a record? You can't do that. So I thought, okay, rather than just go one uh, place and challenge the band, let's go to eight. And rather than tell the story of one awesome recording studio that's run by people that have devoted their lives to facilitating the, uh, the creativity and passion of someone else, let's tell eight of those stories. And when we go to these cities, let's, when we go to these cities, let's tell the story of music from that city and how that environment influenced the music that came from there. Why did jazz happen in New Orleans? And why did go-go happen in DC? And why did blues make its way to Chicago? Um, and then, just to make it more difficult, <laughs> we 